Cheese Puff Hero. Hey guys, Cheese Puff here, back in the city by committee again in City Skylines. If you didn't catch it the first time, go back and watch the videos and series as it will make a lot more sense. This is it. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> this is a game where we hand it off between players and we each play 20 minutes and let's go. Okay, first thing before I can even start complaining about that is that the uh, landfills are full and um, we don't have any incinerators. So I'm just going to plop down two of those. No problemo. There we go. Two incinerators and you're going to start emptying that landfill. Perfect. Now, um... I'm not sure how I feel about that. The only response that I could possibly have to something so um, insane is to just um, just uh, dick butt. How do you like me now? <laughs> okay, now that the uh, ridiculous antics are out of the way, take butt, we can begin. Uh, mother of, I mean, uh, in the chat between the all the fellows, somebody vaguely mentioned something about insane traffic, bad road design, and this must have been what he was talking about. Okay, here we go back to being productive. Now, what do I need to do? Let's crank it up to see the traffic flow. Or rather, not flow. Hmm. Okay, that could probably be improved at some point. But I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. Or, no, I am. I am. Uh, I can improve that. Right now, I have to... Oh, actually, let's pay attention to the demand. We have a massive residential demand. Now, what is this zone over here? Residential? Looks like we got lucky enough to upgrade to the high-density thing, so I'm going to start upgrading parts of downtown to high-density. Just um, block by block. My bus routes are still there, right? I don't know if I put in more than that, but you're damn right they are. I love buses. Abandoned building. Okay. Let's get on with it. Now, hmm. Well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was making downtown high density. Uh, and it doesn't seem to, like, want to properly convert. Get high density, damn you. And we have office zones now. If we, uh... God, all of these freaking tutorials are just driving me crazy. I had to reinstall my game because of some bug. If we get proper education, like a college somewhere, how much does this cost to run? We can take that. If we just plop a college, like, I don't know, there, ish, maybe, right next to the main road, then we can properly educate all of these peeps and um, we can get office buildings and start having you know people that have jobs that aren't factory workers which is good for the economy and good for the game in general now I'm just gonna put down upgrade this all to high density around the downtown area because it's downtown it should be you know fairly dense I'm just gonna I don't even know what I have and haven't upgraded I'm just gonna delete all of the zoning and then replace it all with high density. Hopefully that did not just like wreck my game. And I can take the cost of all these people moving out and then moving back in all at once. Okay, back to business. The industrial zone. There are abandoned buildings like you wouldn't believe. I'm gonna delete the people that are complaining too. Yeah, I'm getting people, I'm getting people. You'll have workers eventually. Just just wait, and there's so much traffic here. But I did my best with the buses. 
But it's all this, um... We need a train station. Oh, I'm really good at train stations. I... We need way more money for that. Also, we haven't even unlocked it yet. And we're in the negative, as was expected, because we're waiting for this uh, demand to fill in all these spaces that got deleted. Okay, and the university's up, which cost tons of money, but it's educating everyone. Keeping up with all the abandoned buildings is... I mean, industrial zones go abandoned all the time. Just like complaining about not having enough workers, even though there are tons of workers. I don't know how that works. Maybe it's because the workers can't get to them properly? Uh, another road right here would help properly route some traffic to those businesses. Hmm. People are using it, so that that's good. Buy new land. No, we don't need new land. Okay. We don't have any demand right now. I don't have the demand meter guiding me as to what I should be doing. Do we have any districts besides Stickman District, which is a no-smoking district. <laughs> I'm just gonna let all these buildings go abandoned and like everybody die and leave the stick man. Ah, poor, poor stick man. Okay. I honestly don't know what to do. How about I start revamping this intersection here. Now that I have $10,000, what I was planning on doing was this. Pay off one loan by getting another loan and then using that loan to get a larger loan. I'm pretty sure that if you did that in real life, you would be um, arrested. There, there must be something illegal that I just did. Now, certainly I have enough money for this intersection that I want to make. Now, these are all made by me. They're not downloaded by the uh, from the Steam Workshop. Uh, I've made a couple of pre-made on off ramps as well as the uh, the dick butt as you saw earlier for this series and they should work fairly well I just need to get it aligned perfectly oh god damn it that's the worst part okay let's put it like here and then you can latch on with one side like that If I wasn't such a perfectionist, I would be done by now. It's it's really kind of bothersome. Okay, one more length unit, and then that should be the perfect length. Right there. And that looks really good. I'm really happy with that. I modeled this intersection after... Um, there are two just like it that I drive uh, every single day. And that, they seem to flow pretty decently in real life, so I figured, why not build them in the game? Oh, what did, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, I disconnected the power grid. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I just build under? No? Okay. I basically can. They just won't go proper under. It looks like it does. It, it's deceptive. At some point, one of the other players will figure out that cars aren't actually driving under this little overpass here. Oh, I can't wait for that to happen. Okay. Back to, um... Business, so to speak. No, wait. That wasn't supposed to be there. This is supposed to be a certain a certain unit of width. You know, I'm just gonna dezone this. These guys can deal with it. You lost your jabs! Okay. And then this road will become like uh, some kind of main area. It'll travel down the length of that and then connect wherever. Even though when you're doing the uh, exact spacing for the industrial districts to fit a dump, you're supposed to leave an extra space when you do double wide roads like that. But as long as we don't try to put any dumps here, then we're not going to have any problems with that. Now, zone some of this garbage. 
How are the buses doing? Do I need to add more bus routes? Can I look at usage? Um, I can just watch them. Look at the number of people that are standing there. Wow, look at all you guys. Sorry, this is bothering me. Just, um, I have the tilt shift amount way down so that things will stay in focus when I'm trying to like look here, but it's focused here. It's kind of annoying. Everybody's complaining about not having any workers. Okay. But, meanwhile, the rest of the city's doing pretty good. Are we still running good on power? Wow, I love that Root put down that thing there. And also, I did the... Oh, somebody expanded it. It's awesome. 23 buses. Now, the traffic isn't that bad. This is pretty bad, actually. Okay, this is going to be the rest of my episode accomplishment right now. Oh my god, it's backed up all the way over there. Okay, they are going. All these cars, got to watch them, see where the average car goes. They're all going into this district in general. Now, since they're all getting on, but there's no traffic getting off, you can put one-way little uh, feeder things right here. But... The problem is they're all coming from this direction, or at least a great majority of them are. So, you could, in theory, do one of these, and uh, raise it, curve it around, and then dump them right there, and see if anybody actually goes on that road that I've just created. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's lightening the load from the main main area or at least it wishes that it was because now they're all doing that okay you can also branch off from here and create even more little feeder roads god if you can find a place to put them with that doesn't collide with anything else boom and then the people that are going like here will prior oh jeez the lag just happened uh, prioritize going this way they're already doing it fantastic feel like I could create oh, oh freaking traffic lights I wish that you could just turn off traffic lights without a mod because they just cause congestion unnecessarily or like put in stop signs rather than traffic lights people use stop signs in the real freaking world okay rant over now let's go back to business now this is a monstrosity I mean this is like I don't even understand <laughs> Look at all of this. Oh, this is insane. I guess I could try to upgrade these. What? 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 Ah. Oh. They weren't far enough away from one another. I guess I guess I should be using this. Okay. I'm going to fix I'm going to upgrade these roads. I hate the freaking game. I hate it. Do what I want you to do. Okay, whatever. There can be a choke point right there. I don't I don't really care that much. You have to split them apart a little bit. Now. Just straight? Nope. This is like the weirdest, most buggy attempt to place a road. There. It doesn't look good, but it flows faster, I guess, to this hell hole of a district. Oh, and they don't really have proper garbage coverage over here. It's okay. They can all die and burn. Because they live in Stickman. And Stickman is my least favorite neighborhood. Except for his face. He is such a pretty face. I'm going to put trees on it. Yay, trees. Okay. That was nice. Now, can we afford a metro? Yes, we can. Okay, what is the major traffic area here? Okay. This is going to cost a decent amount of money. Metro. Now we need to put down another one in another major traffic area. Like, let's say...
basically here. Maybe I'll put one there. And uh, then link them. And the metros work like train tracks, so you need to be aware of that. Like, if you want to um, slope too steep. What? Oh, freaking. That, that sucks. Okay. I'm going to have to route this kind of funky under the water. I hate the way that they work so much. I have to build these curvy roads. Okay, yeah. Like that. And then you uh, would have to build like a, a turnaround here. And they work basically like trains. So you want to build turnarounds like decently far apart. Because they do have a length to worry about. And then that snaky beautiful bastard here. Once they link the stations with a line. That should, in theory, get people to ride the metro. And this is emptying, and that's still emptying, and we probably need more of... Yeah, we need more incinerators, but we're out of money. But the demand is high. And screw the whole not creating another district thing. I'm gonna... That was a freaking highway. What a waste of money. Okay. There we go. That was horrible. I should be ashamed of myself for drawing that line. Space already... What, what's that? Oh, an elementary school. I'm just going to move it a little a few inches to the right. And then... Everybody, like, gets mad because I moved the elementary school. Oh, God, God damn it. Oh, my God. I have to pay $2,000 again. Everybody gets mad, look, because I moved the elementary school, like, two inches to the right. And they're like, hey, now I'm further away from my kid's school. It's like, it's like that, that, that's just crazy, man. Just got to relax. And that is a marvel of traffic. Not even going to put a road there. It's not worth it. Okay, just going to do straight up high density from now on. This will be a high density zone. And this, and these, and these, and these. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, this is still low, and I want to upgrade it. Except for I love this row of identical houses. It's actually kind of cool. I might just leave that there for the sake of having it there. Everybody's moving out, but then way more people are going to move in because high density. Awesome. Garbage is, is piling up like none other. I I need some money. I'm sorry. I try not to take out loans and then just like dump the burden onto the next guy, but at the same time, incinerators are really expensive. Oh, we need commercial. I can upgrade this to high density. The only way we're going to get anywhere near... 300,000 population is by having high density everything, everywhere every time because that's that's the only way you can do it really, realistically now, good, we have water coverage over there too everybody move out everybody move back in hey, more industrial demand oh, mother of god there's no water? Oh, there's no what? Oh, no wonder they were so mad. Not enough money for a water pipe? I hate... I hate you. They're over there, like... They're saying, Ah, so... So thirsty. Please build a water pipe. Please. I can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You get water. You're welcome. Now... I'm just gonna deal with the, the crisis that is this wow this is a lot of buildings and they're all complaining about not having any garbage service well I have to reopen the landfill even though it's not totally empty hmm this has been Cheese Buff Hero in another episode of City by Committee now I hope the next guy knows how to deal with 
garbage problems because I don't have enough money to buy another incinerator. And my time here is done. So I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Hey guys, just a little aside, just as I ended the last recording, I unlocked trains. Now, I have a few excellent tips on how to properly utilize the uh, the trains in this game, and I just want to share them with, uh, with you, the viewer. Now, there is a really efficient, albeit expensive, way to... Um, to route your cargo with trains. Now, if you follow on the uh, City Skyline subreddit, you might have seen it. It is with these uh, roundabouts. Now, it's going to cost just an, a buttload of money, but put down these two here. Now, you use them to make a clear distinction and separate between what is your regional train traffic, shown here, and what is your local train traffic? Now we don't have any local train traffic. Local train traffic would be coming to and from the industrial zones. Now, let's say we get this loan out and put down a local cargo station. Yes, it takes three of them to do this method, preferably more. But uh, you do this, right? And then you use this. This is your. Oh, and the best part is you can uh, take these and upgrade them to highway that way people will just go super fast in between them in a circle now back to what I was saying uh, your local travel will come from the industrial zone and drop things off here or pick things up here and trucks will come out of here and then go over here when the trains come here trucks will come out of here and go here trucks will come out of here and go here and it'll just be like a giant pinwheel of love and destruction uh, so I'm gonna demonstrate that method very quickly I'm running out of time but this is a valuable tip for anyone who wants to uh, try to do trains proper in city skylines is to try and do this now this might be a little tricky having to route this this one around Hmm. Let's try curving it and then sending it directly over the last train. And then send it here. My train skills are level 9001, obviously. Uh, there. Okay, that was a mistake. I got this. This bit's a little bit tedious, but you'll you'll see the point. Yes, it works. Okay. Now, ground level, and then whip it around. Do one of these. And you also might want to do like a little train roundabout here. Just in case some of the train engineers decide that they want to get stupid on you and mess up not enough money okay now this needs power and water uh, trains make industrial really happy and this is actually ugly but beautiful in the way that it works now if you just take a uh, you're gonna want to take just you can just put one of these down here they don't really need a particularly large amount of power and then this you can connect with uh, cables then run water to them and then you can really watch the magic happen now it'll probably take the uh, the hourly or I guess it's a weekly earnings down a lot but now watch and uh, it's kinda slow it'll happen it takes a while for these things to just like begin operating here we go finally much time later you can see cars are just pouring in delivering their goods and then look a train comes it's fun to watch actually goes here drops it off all the trucks go out and then they go in here and the system doesn't make a lot of sense for a uh, a small game like this but when you when you start dealing with high volume 
uh, you're going to be glad that this exists. Now, uh, this has been Cheese Puff with a little extra short at the end of the video just to educate people about trains. And I will see you in the next one.